today we're here at Grow Medical with Dr. Tom and we're here to chat about hay fever. Um, so I guess the first thing to know about hay fever, there's a couple of different types. Um, so you've got hay fever from pollen, which is seasonal allergic rhinitis. Um, some other types that you've got are perennial, so year long round, and that's more commonly from dust mites. Um, and then I guess you can have occupational uh, rhinitis as well, so if you're exposed to certain chemicals or um, flower dust at work. Can you just tell us a bit more about how to manage dust mite allergies? Basically, the first step of management is trying to avoid the allergen, and that, that applies to all of them. So with dust mites, um, what we try and focus on first is a non-pharmacological approach, which is minimising the amount of dust and dust mites in your house, keeping your house airy and cool uh, and dry are all kind of good approaches to general dust mite control. And obviously at this time of year we have a lot of dry wind coming off the land. Um, how do you manage the typical type of hay fever? So to avoid the allergens actually difficult with pollen, um, you know, you can't live in a bubble. The things you can do, I guess, um, avoid activities that are going to really contribute to getting that pollen exposure, such as mowing the lawn. So you've got an excuse to get someone else to mow the lawn now. So that's great. Okay. Uh, and then on top of that, you might want to consider some medications as well. Well, thanks very much, Tom. No worries, thanks.